World Wrestling Entertainment is full of fails and botches, but it is the superstar's obligation to stay calm and professional. That's adorable. Now, unfortunately, there are times when that does not happen. Whether it's fans acting up or two superstars having a real-life feud between each other, the wrestlers either have a meltdown or just get straight up angry. The cameras usually tend to pick up these emotions, hence there is no way of hiding it. So today, that's exactly what we'll talk about. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has millions of devoted players and dozens of tough bosses, but its heart and soul are its impressive and gorgeous champions. Oh, you're not going to want to miss this, boys and girls. They just introduced a brand new playable faction, the Shadow Kid. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. The Shadowkin are heavily inspired by the mythos of medieval Japan, as well as other Eastern Asian influences. These guys are as mysterious as they come. No one's heard from them for hundreds of years, up until just a few months ago when they revealed themselves as allied with the dwarves in the Nyrezian Union. Right now, out of all of them, my favorite Shadowkin champions are Jintoro and Genzin. Because look at them, they're so incredibly badass! Just this month, Raid released an insane amount of new content. First, they released 11 stunning new champions and along with that, 200 brand new missions to complete. And that's not all, they also added 5 tough new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. All of that in just one month! If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description and you'll get your free epic champion Jotun, 100k silver, 50 gems, and the 3 ancient shards so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you're in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Rewards will be available only for the next 30 days and only for new players. Once you're in, you can find me in-game under the name Mr. T-Motion. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Let's start off with what is probably the most infamous superstar meltdown in history. During a triple threat match between John Cena, Kofi Kingston, and Randy Orton in 2010, the match ended with Randy hitting an RKO on Kofi and as a result, winning a match. After hitting an RKO, Orton was visibly upset and kept shouting stupid to Kingston. To viewers, everything seemed fine, so why was Randy so angry? Well, apparently, Kofi wasn't supposed to get up and should have received the signature punt kick from Orton, but he kept getting up and so the Viper had to improvise. Goes for the RKO and connects! Kofi Kingston jaw and face planted! Gail Kim and Mickey James were scheduled for a championship match on an episode of Raw in 2009. The fight mostly went smoothly as both competitors are known to be great wrestlers. Despite this, at the very end, when Mickey was supposed to hit her finisher and win the match, the move was heavily botched. Botches happen all the time, so this wasn't a big deal, until the second move was botched as well. As a result, the end of the match was super awkward, and you could visibly see the disappointment on Mickey's face. Gail Kim finished off there. Gail picks up the victory. Gail Kim looks like she may be out cold. Speaking of seeing disappointment on Mickey's face, during a women's championship match between Asuka and Mickey James in 2020, Asuka put Mickey in a submission hold and after they rolled around the ring for a bit, the referee decided to ring the bell. This was confusing because neither of the wrestlers tapped out and you could see the confusion on Mickey's face while being in a submission hold. Apparently, the referee thought Mickey tapped out. While it was highly likely that Asuka was going to retain her women's championship either way and this botch didn't affect the outcome, it still wasn't a great end to the match. Roll through! And I believe Mickey tapped out! What happened? Let's see what the official's ruling is. What's he saying? In 2013, AJ Lee woke up and chose violence. On that year's Raw, she gave the infamous pipe bomb promo. The promo basically dissed the whole Total Divas reality show and its cast members, the Bella Twins, Natalia, Eva Marie, and others. The fans instantly noticed that Lee's opinions about the so-called Total Divas seemed like it wasn't scripted at all. Moreover, you could see how angry the Bella Twins were during the promo and were yelling, say it to our face, the whole time. 
While this was certainly an intriguing moment, both AJ Lee and the Bella Twins go down in history as trailblazers for the current women's division. I didn't get here because I was cute or because I sucked up to the right people. In 2016, during the Raw after WrestleMania, more specifically during an Intercontinental Championship between The Miz and Zack Ryder, Maryse made her return to the WWE by jumping the barricade and helping his husband secure the IC title. Now, we all know that this was scripted, and by we, I heavily exclude the bodyguard who thought that Maryse was an actual fan who woke up and chose violence. So, while The Miz was celebrating his win, the bodyguard was refusing to let go of his wife, which naturally made Maryse a bit tense as she was trying to explain the situation. The Undertaker is hands down one of the greatest superstars of all time. At Super Showdown 2019, the dead man was set against the one and only Goldberg. Even though the match featured two of the greatest wrestlers, it ended up being highly criticized and labeled as one of the worst matches ever. This was because neither of the competitors performed well, and there were quite a few botches in the match that could have ended with a serious injury. At the end, after The Undertaker won, you could see him being visibly upset and dissatisfied with how this match turned out. My reactions after the match, this dejected look on my face, I mean, there was, because I was upset. It's a known fact that in the past, World Wrestling Entertainment didn't give their female talent enough time to show their abilities. One of the superstars dissatisfied with their treatment by the company was Gail Kim. During a Diva Battle Royale in 2011, Kim decided to simply eliminate herself from the match and later quit the WWE. Gail herself said that she wasn't happy with the fact that women had their time cut significantly and that moment was a culmination of many of those instances. You really have no choice. You just kind of try to make the best of it and that's what I did. I just, and then eventually I just became so unhappy and I just couldn't stay. Wrestling fans can be intense sometimes. One example of that happened during an episode of Raw in 2012. After a match between CM Punk and Mr. McMahon, Punk escaped into the crowd of people. While McMahon was cutting a promo, fans kept touching and pushing CM Punk, which angered him and led him to hit one of them. World Wrestling Entertainment later issued a statement apologizing for the incident. You either face Ryback or you face John Cena. And that was our list. Comment below and make sure to leave a big like.